And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Marauders. Now, this is a viewer submitted donation deck. It was actually from 13 days ago, which is longer than what I usually have decks for. I, I um, this, this one, it took me a little while to get to this deck and I'm, I apologize for that. But you may see that our list could be a little old compared to like some of like the newer Marauder lists that are out there. But we're still going to give this a try. We're going to play this um, kind of old school Marauder list with more Noxus. We're going to be more aggressive. Right? Like the the uh, Marauder list that you see a lot recently, they have Ash in them and they have a lot of combat spells. And they're all about just like keeping Marauder alive. And that is going to be something that's going to be important to us. We still have Troll Chan. We still have Elixir of Iron. But we're also going to be aggressive with these Noxus cards. We're going to have the Glory Seeker uh, Legion Drummer combo, which is awesome. We're going to have Trifarian Hopeful being a 5-2 right away. And so we're going to be more of a um, reputation deck, needing those uh, strikes for the um, the four strikes to turn on our reputation with the 5-plus power uh, units. And another reason for that is because of Black Rose Spy. We'll be playing two copies of Black Rose Spy. Then whenever we do turn on the reputation, can uh, be an exact copy and so we can uh, have even more legion marauders with our uh, black rose spy so of course we'll have our legion marauders we'll have our strength and numbers all that kind of stuff even one trifarian assessor to get a little bit extra card draw in here so it looks pretty interesting two sharp sharpened resolves that we can use on smaller units to help turn on reputation right like we can give um, a legion drummer for example or a blade squire plus three plus two and now those things are striking for five plus damage uh, to help out uh, reputation so two katarinas in here get extra attacks with our leblancs and that's our deck so here we go katarina marauders we'll go ahead and go play five games in ranked okay we just played against lucian azir a little bit ago with the swain sejuani deck and it looked great lucian azir did they had an awesome curve so we'll see if they are able to do the same kind of thing again Troll Chance definitely a keep. They have like the 2 1 challengers <clears throat> that does make like keeping these 3 2s less valuable with all the 2 1 challengers. You know what? Talk myself into everything. I'm going to keep this hand. So I'm, I'm playing Black Rose by first to turn on Hopeful being a 5 2. And then 5-2 Hopeful with Bloody Business will be able to kill like Azir or Lucian. Whichever one we need. Voices carry. Well. Alright, so Black Rose Spy saves us two life. Alright, so I could play Bloody Business and Troll Chant this turn. Tough, eh? Never play fit. Well, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing about that. Block with the 3-1. Alright, so I have a 5-2 in play. They have a 5-3 tough and a landmark in play. And we have an extra card in hand than what they do. I don't think they're making that trade, but it's possible, I suppose. 
It could also just have like sharp sights and stuff that are a huge bummer, but. No, I guess they are making that trade. This could go poorly for me. It's just too risky to use the bloody business right there. And that's how this could go poorly. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. I hope that was mud. And that's true, striking a tough unit does not count towards reputation. That's a good call. What do you see, boy? Oh, that card's great. Oh, that card's great. We go. Yeah, that's that's great. Wow. Well. I've got the reins. Oh, where that came from. Yeah, that's like the the very best a Green Glade Warden can possibly be. <laughs> Ready, boy. Is that all you got? Because I want to play strength in numbers this turn. Good dog. Of course, really, really hope they don't have Relentless Pursuit. Please don't. Just pass the turn. Just pass the turn. Yay. I could see not attacking with Katarina. Just keep Katarina on defense, because this is this is incredibly scary. We have quick attack overwhelm. Come on, boys. Sedition. No closer. Inspiring Marshal Azir is pretty awesome. Like this is Arise. kind of me getting punished for attacking with that 5-2 and not having this bloody business available from before. Yeah, that that two drop was perfect. Like they've they've had some perfect cards. That um, that one scout was perfect. But then yeah, the six two two drop that also gave Azir a uh, barrier. That's that's pretty awesome. Dang, that's game over. Guess I should have just played LeBlanc. Yeah, that, that's just game over. It's too bad. Inspiring Marshall. Lucian Azir looking real good today. Trifarian Hopeful really underperformed in those games. But I think that's just going to be natural against a deck filled with 2-1 challengers also. That's just not a, a matchup for it. Victory. 
victory requires a sharp blade. I'll cut them apart. I got first reputation in. The desert by my side. I'd rather play LeBlanc, but I also kind of want to keep this elixir of iron available. Just in case. Second reputation. Places to go, people to be. The soul wears away like grains of sand. That's good against reputation. So this only costs one mana to play to deal two. And it will also level up LeBlanc. There you are. I see they have Glimpse Beyond. I kind of expect them to have Glimpse Beyond. Wish I had one more mana and I could do both of these. Okay, no Glimpse Beyond. Man, LeBlanc keeps looking really good. I mean, I guess it's just... Oh no, they healed their Nexus. They did have Nexus healing. No. For three, yeah, the Withering Whale. I guess that's the card. Um, LeBlanc has looked very good for me. But it's been, I guess, mostly in... Man, this is... See if this works out. Mostly in the um, labs, but our penance is to serve, curator. You serve the Empire. I am but your guide. The best lies are beautiful. Yeah, Withering Whale. Guess I should have summoned the Marauders before attacking. Correct, they did not attack with Nasus. Not exactly sure why. I, of course, need that alive for my mirror image. Yeah, I mean, I just I just need to play the Marauders before attacking. I, you can't mirror image Marauder. You can only do copy allies with 5 plus power. I can't, so I can't cast this card. I can just play this as a 3-2, but all they have to do is play a different blocker. But I guess it's my best option, like, force them to have another blocker, right? Like, I just don't have any other options. Yeah, I should have had this. I'll, I need to play the Marauder before attacking. I thought I thought that just like attacking and then and then the two damage spell. I thought I was going to be able to win with that, but Withering Whale, Withering Whale got me. Any attack I make levels up their Nasus. 
Therefore, his attack I can't make. Yeah, I mean, I just need, I need to play the Marauders first. That was a big mistake by me. Yeah, I mean, it could you know, if I would have gone for the 8-mana card, they could have had right Negation and all that kind of stuff. But I, I just need to play it. See the world from behind a basilisk. I'll show the hunters. Victory requires a sharp blade. Let's get those shorts cuts. I must be known. Hmm. I really want quick attack. I hate having to put my face on. There you are. Smoke and mirrors. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to have my Glory Seeker challenge this Blighted Caretaker, because the only reason to use a Blighted Caretaker right, right there is that you have another Blighted Caretaker that you're going to use on that one, which is exactly what happened. But yeah, I should have I should have challenged that Blighted Caretaker. Alright, well, we got the Sharpen Resolve to keep LeBlanc alive. Caretaker's kinda busted. And here comes the champions, most likely. I wonder where Caretaker ranks in the best non-champions in the game. It's got to be way up there, right? What do we got here? First me, said the world. Where are you at, LeBlanc? I can't. <laughs> All right, I can't read this. What is it? Ten. Okay, it's at 10. So I have to have a LeBlanc strike. So if I want a mirror image. Is a mirror image actually important, though? I guess it's not, because I'm going to be open attacking. I just don't want my LeBlanc to have one health and die to a Vile Feast or a Withering Whale. Or not. Dust. Exactly as I planned it. Alright, let's try a new hand. 
I don't think our de our deck ha our I don't think our deck has looked bad. You know, sometimes you're 0 and 3 because like the deck doesn't look too good. Um, I think our decks looked good. Our opponents have just won the games, but you know, one card here, here, or there, every single game, like we could be three. Like it, it would not take much for us to be three and zero instead of three and one. I don't think it's the deck's fault. I need just a moment. So this is a bad matchup. I could see that. They have the they have the ability to go bigger. They can block very well. Yeah, so they're playing the Dragon Chow to save the life. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Marauder. You know, I'm going towards this LeBlanc level up and, you know, attacking for five right now, but I could see that, like, I'm supposed to just play Marauder and um, get that first plus one plus one in. I'm not sure. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Ugh. I need one more mana. I need a Whirling Death that, and then they go Sharp Sight, and then I go Sharpened Resolve. Sharpened Resolve, you need to cost two mana. I wish this was two mana. I wish it was just two mana and then plus two plus two. Even if it even if it's strictly worse than Sharp Sight and it doesn't have that other part, it would just be nice to have a two mana card in Noxus like that. You know, they have Transfusion, I guess, but you don't really want to play Transfusion. I'm not blocking, I guess. Do I just go this, open attack, I go that, that, I go that. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I hope it's not single combat. Just pass. Cool. So we need... Alright, so that levels up LeBlanc. And those don't really matter. Come on, boys! The spell shield's nice. Of two golden crowns, one bears tarnish. And now we wait. Really? Really? It is not our day today. I can't say I was expecting that Molten Breath. That Molten Breath is a sweet card. A Seasonal didn't go very well for me. Didn't, didn't do much winning. I was one in three. <laughs> we went one in three, and then I stopped playing. So they're, they're telling me they have Judgment, but I don't really know what I can do about it. I can, like, hit him for nine... All right, so I think what we're going to do is go Strength in Numbers. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Okay, no judgment. Surprise to see me. Look what I found. My move. What a treat. Those who have what's left. Plenty for all of us. Behold my work. Game over. Focus on me. Behold my work. That's not going to help him. We got it. Another rose for the good. 
Alright, there we go. We did see that they were playing that Molten Breath card, and maybe it was too difficult to play the Molten Breath card and Judgment together in a list. So maybe they didn't have Judgment and they were just trying to bluff Judgment. Well, obviously they, they probably didn't have it because they played the Lifesteal thing. Azir Renekton. Cool combination. I'll keep Glory Seeker LeBlanc. Mulligan the expensive cards. Yeah, so I think our deck has played pretty well. <laughs> Even though we're one and three, I think it's it's looked good. Um, the Whirling Death has been very awkward. I think the Whirling Death would be better as another bloody business, or you know, like uh, I don't know something else. It's been the one awkward card. I guess we do have the two flash freeze that they're saying that you know we could have you know maybe like flash freeze against Nasus would have been really nice to have, but we we do have access to those. I'll cut them apart. Plenty for all of us. Can't, okay, can't stop the plus three, plus one card. All right, first Marauder attack in there. That's a lot to die. Cut them down. No surrender. For the Empire. I need just a moment. Give them something to remember me. For glory, I'll cut them apart. Chase them down. Face me. You're mine. Quicksand is certainly a possibility. Face me. You're mine. Would I rather keep alive? Glory Seeker? Yeah, Glory Seeker. They Yeah, I think what's the very best possible card for my opponent to have? That means they're going to have it. And that, of course, was the... Oh. Was the quicksand. That's okay, like we have the strength of numbers is gonna be able to be multiple bodies, the whisper words. Uh, we'll help refill the hand. Maybe no vulnerable. Oh, we can't be that lucky. So that was, yeah, that was Renekton's champion. So that was the gold ambassador drew the champion, so they drew the Renekton right there. Okay, so if they use quicksand, we do seven, put them down to four. All right, so as far as two and three decks goes, ours looked really good. Yeah, I honestly liked our, our deck here, especially as far as, you know, like um, those first three games. You know, one card different here and there, like those that 0-3 could have really been 3-0 to start with, right? Like we were just um, barely losing those games. I think I would I think I would take out Whirling Death and put in just another bloody business. 
Uh, we we you know having them have to strike during combat was kind of rough. We do have the two flash freezes for Nasus, so like that's not so bad. But yeah, the whirling death was really difficult to pull off. Um, but then again, bloody business that has to be a five plus power ally, and that's also uh, can be difficult at times. But Hopeful did a really good job of turning on Reputation. We did a great job turning on Reputation with this deck with Glory Seeker, Hopeful, LeBlanc. LeBlanc did look very good. And I even liked the Blade Squire. That was a good choice for a, a one mana unit. There may be something better than Bloody Business, but maybe not also. I'm not sure. Maybe just playing a third Flash Freeze is the way to go. Because that's kind of what we struggled with were like the larger units and. Um, Flash Freeze is safer than Bloody Business, right? Because Bloody Business, you not you have to have your five plus power ally, and then it's also fast speed. They can respond. They can you know like grow the grow their power or use something that reduces the power of your unit. It's, um, you know, it's it, it's tricky. So maybe it's just Flash Freeze that's just incredibly reliable. Tons and tons of Thresh Nasus everywhere, and so it's great against Nasus. Um, but then, you know, like even against a card like Judgment, going to be really good there against. Could just be the Three Sisters. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea either. You know, we don't have any Three Sisters in here. Since we are, instead of putting a third Flash Freeze in here, I that's that's a good idea. I, I bet the first Three Sisters is going to be better than that. Then, then you know, you got, you got your versatility. You have your different options. Whether you need to, like, go for your lethal with your Pump Spell Fury of the North or keep, you know, like your LeBlanc alive against something um in combat you got that you got your flash freeze if you need or um sometimes in tomb like actually honestly if that um if that rolling death was flash freeze or sorry if it was this three sisters we definitely would have won that second nasus battle for sure because we could have just entombed that nasus like on their turn like after they like they play nasus we entomb it uh we get to attack for lethal yeah i like that i like that i like the three sisters that's cool that's cool I like that. So maybe make that one little change. Sharpened Resolve honestly was pretty good. Like I, it, it's too bad that it costs three mana, right? Like you really wish it cost two. Uh, to kind of pair with like the other two mana tricks and everything, but it was good. I liked it. I don't know if, like, is it better than Brittle Steel? I'm not sure. But it was good, and it it helped turn on reputation. It kind of helped with the bloody business and stuff. Um. Yeah, it was it. It did good work, but I could also see Brittle Steel doing better work for, you know, doing, like, the same kind of stuff for really cheap, right? Like, you know, because Brittle Steel can have, you know, your Glory Seeker, your Hopeful, because that's that's what you kind of want with this card, right? Is to have your Glory Seeker, your Hopeful, your Legion Marauder, like, those kind of cards stay alive. Okay, well, there we go. There's Katarina Marauders. Um, impressive deck. Impressive deck. I think maybe make that one change, get the three sisters in there, and... If you continue to play this deck, definitely think about that with the, um, you know, is is Brittle Steel going to be a better option than Sharpened Resolve? And I don't know the answer to that question. I, I liked the Sharpened Resolve, but of course I also really like Brittle Steel too. That's something to think about. Yeah, and it can help out. Yeah, it can grow your Legion Marauders to have them strike with a reputation first, like whenever you hit, whenever you begin with them. I don't know, something to think about. But Black Rose Pie was just, was good. I liked that card. Yeah, worked out well. I just replaced that one card. All right, so there we go. That was Katarina Marauders. Um, you know, not the best record, but that's why you got to watch the games and, and everything because it was so close to doing, you know, like really like two small card changes and we're four and one <laughs> instead of uh, two and three. Um, but yeah, I, look, I, I was impressed with the list. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, playing Marauders without Ash. No Ash in here. And just with Katarina and LeBlanc. Um, but yeah. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Katarina Marauders. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.